Well guys, welcome back to the app. For today's video, we are going to show you or discuss with you how to connect WhatsApp to Meta Business Suite. So, if you're interested, let's get started. So, you might be wondering how to exactly connect your WhatsApp account into Meta Business Suite here. Well, there are going to be a few things that you need to set up here, you need to know, and also you need to complete the first. So, first things first is you want to make sure that you have your account properly set up. So in this case, you need to have a Facebook page that you could actually use or you could basically connect uh, your um, WhatsApp account or WhatsApp number into. So to be speaking, you want to go to your Facebook uh, Facebook account, go to facebook.com here and just log in. Well, once you've logged in, you want to go to see more here and just choose the option here for pages. Now, you want to create your page here. You're going to click on create a new profile or page, choose public page here. And just basically fill out all the necessary information. That includes the page name, category here, and just basically complete the whole process. Now, once you've done that, what we need to do is you want to access the actual page. Now, typically in the pages section here, you just need to click on that specific page. And in this case, this is the uh, page where you could manage your page for Facebook. So in here, there's a bunch of things that you could try doing here. Like for example, if you want to change a few things, like uh, for example, you have your ad center, you can create ads in here as well. But we also have the Meta Business Suite option here. So go ahead and click on it. So open it up in a new window. But once it, you are in your page uh, section here, what you need to do is you want to access a very spe specific section here on uh, your Meta Business Suite account. So typically, what you need to do is you want to go ahead and click on the settings option at the bottom left here. Let's go ahead and click on it. It should open up your settings here. Now it should, it might ask you to authenticate yourself. So in this case, you want to enter the code that you'll be receiving via SMS here or whatever uh, option you've set up for your account. So let's go ahead and just search for it or wait for it to arrive. Sometimes it might uh, arrive uh, delay or it might uh, arrive a bit later, but let's go ahead and just uh, enter it in here so already receive it so let's go ahead and enter that but once you've entered this you should be able to uh, actually access your um your settings now typically in your settings here there's a lot of things that you can access here like for example your partners system users accounts and a lot more now you can also view your data sources as you can see you have your requests and integrations so i know this is uh, quite a lot here because again this is the settings uh for your page but this is where you also start managing uh the connected accounts on your um facebook page or your meta business suite account here now just make sure that you're accessing the correct account here sometimes you may have selected the in the uh not the correct um business asset so we uh for a meta business suite account you need to have the page that you want to connect here. So make sure it's linked. Uh, it's properly linked up first or you've selected the correct account. But obviously mine, I've already selected this one. So this is portfolio here. But yeah, so in this case, you want to look for accounts and you want to look for the option for WhatsApp accounts. Now, like what I said before, you can even like connect your Instagram account here, your commerce accounts, just in case, and business assets, uh, as, asset groups as well. But let's go and click on WhatsApp accounts. Now, it's going to say at first, no WhatsApp accounts added. So in this case, in order for you to add one, you just need to click on the add button that you see here. But just in case, if you don't see it in here, at the top right, you should see the same button. But let's go ahead and click on the add button here. It should open up a new window. It's going to say create a new WhatsApp business account or link a WhatsApp business account. So in this case, like if you don't have a WhatsApp business account yet, you could go and click on the create option here but if we already have an existing whatsapp business account you can go and click on link a whatsapp business account so if you choose link a whatsapp business account you just need to enter the phone number for it so in this case you first need to enter uh the uh country code here so i'm going to choose mine here and just let's go and just enter our number here and just click on continue at the bottom right but once you've entered those number you will be able to basically uh log in or you should be able to agree to a few things or for you to connect your account but just in case, if you want to create a new one, again, you want to click on create new WhatsApp account and you just need to provide some details. Like for example, WhatsApp business display name here, the category for it. So let's go and choose one that is actually uh, 
quite tricky to us. So in this case, this is dependent on what your page is all about here or your account or your WhatsApp business account is all about. So going to click on entertainment as an example. Let's going to click on continue. Now it's going to ask you for other details like the phone number option here. There, also, there are also like usher options, other options here, like the time zone, business description and website. Now from here, uh, you can actually get a free WhatsApp number here. So WhatsApp will generate a uh, number to use exclusively for sending your messages. It cannot be used to start or receiving calls or texts. No verification required here. Or in this case, you can add a new number, but verification may be required. So let's go and click on get free WhatsApp number here, but you could go ahead and use the add new option here if you want. So yeah, so additional verification may be required here. So by the way, uh, before you can begin messaging, your business uh, and display name will be reviewed by Meta. So these reviews can take up five business days and you will receive an email once the reviews are completed. So yeah, you could go and click on either uh, get the free one or additional here. Let's go and click continue. And from here, it's going to say your WhatsApp business account was created. And again, it's going to still be reviewed by Meta Business Suite. So you just need to finish uh, for it to be reviewed. It's going to view all the information here. But then again, if you want to add a new one or you just want to link one, you just need to choose the option here that says link a WhatsApp business account. And again, just make sure you specify the correct details here in order for you to connect those accounts. Now, also, if you're trying to link your WhatsApp business account here and just say, please double check, I uh, add that this number, this number is registered with a WhatsApp business app, app account here, it means that your number might not be registered yet. So a WhatsApp number is different from a business or WhatsApp business account. So just keep that in mind. So typically, you just need to click on add again. Just click on create new WhatsApp business account. Again, go and choose your category. Click on continue. But instead of choosing the option here that says get free WhatsApp number, you just need to choose add new number here. Choose your country code. And again, it will require you to enter some verification here or you need to do some verification in order for you to continue. Now it's going to ask you to verify this one. So either text or phone call. So it's going to choose check text here, click on continue. And it's going to send a verification uh, number into that specific WhatsApp account. Now, in this case, it's got like, for example, we already have an existing WhatsApp account with that number. Now to use this number, you want to disconnect it from your existing account, then return to this page and re-enter the number. Now, in this case, uh, you will be disconnecting your previous number uh, from WhatsApp in order for you to use that for your business account. So again, just keep that in mind. You are disconnecting your account if you really want to use that number. But if that's the case, I would recommend you to just get a new number that you could use for registering in here but to be speaking uh, this one is pretty easy uh either choose link a whatsapp business account or create a new one if you haven't created your one yours or for example you already have a whatsapp account but again a whatsapp account is different from a whatsapp business account so just keep that in mind you may need to disconnect that from your whatsapp account in order for you to continue with the sign up process here but in this case that's about it so hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to your lineup thank you for watching